few tales are told of Hades, whose very name inspires fear and penitence, reminding us of the inevitable fate which we all share. I, however, mean to tell you such a tale. Listen carefully. Goodbye, Father. I'm back, Meg. <laughs> Ever stubborn, aren't you? Maybe my whip might make you reconsider whatever it is that you're attempting here. Your whip's not been all that persuasive in the past. Maybe persistence will pay off for both of us. Come then. Yes. The ancient blood. Achilles might know what to do with this. Never been this far. Clear. Now we're getting somewhere. of Elysium. You come from the bowels of hell. This is not your place. Agreed on both counts. Just passing through, so you'll excuse me. I will not. The champion of Elysium would never back down from such a contest. Neither will I. Wait, you're not the champion of Elysium? You're the Bull of Minos. I can't imagine who's even stronger than you. Is it Heracles? Tell me it's Heracles. I will not. You talk too much, short one. Come get destroyed. Well fought. Though your technique pales in comparison to that of the champion of Elysium, I expect you'll soon see for yourself. I beat the bull of Minos. Oh, wow. I warned you, short one. Now you face a foe more terrible even than I. The only other foe whom I have ever faced who bested me. Hold, fiend! You'll walk not one more step toward the light of day, so long as I am here. Theseus, no way. You two are legends. I'd be honored if we had a sporting contest here. Ah, uh, a naked attempt to sway me from my convictions. Defend yourself, you blaggard, and may the gods show you some mercy, for I shall not. Who's champion now? Oh, I, can't... I can do this. I can do this. The multi headed Cerberus stands vigilant before the underworld's entryway. The tales of what happens to those foolish enough to attempt to pass are far too graphic to describe. So it's really come to this, boy. After everything we've been through. Well, then, this is how it has to be. There's nothing left to say, except for on your guard. <laughs> no, but seriously, boy, I know why you're here. There has to be a way to make you look the other way. What if I help you with the Seder problem? Would you let me go? Please. I have to find Mother. You know what this means to me. After a moment's hesitation and deliberation, 
the voracious hound of hell barks once affirmatively toward the prince, who sets off in search of something that can sate the monster's appetites. Good. Now I just need to head off the beaten path here and see what I can find. One satis act coming right up. All right, boy, I got your favorite treat. But you have to promise to let me pass if I hand it over, okay? Terrifying Cerberus accepts the fetid sack and scans the darkened hall for where best to consume the stomach-turning contents. I owe you one, boy. I did it. I never grew accustomed to the air up here. It gusts senselessly whichever way it pleases. I suppose you must prefer it to the stillness of the air below. You know you're right. The air up here seems pretty good so far. But I will reserve judgment till I've had my fill. I have to say though, Father, the Helm of Darkness suits you. I'm touched you dust it off on my account. It should not have had to come to this. For all your antics with me yet around the house, I always kept my temper, have I not? Unlike you. Well, let's see. You've berated me repeatedly and often. You've lied to me, mustered your wretched forces to kill me over and over, but sure, I'll grant you that you've always kept most of your anger bottled up. All that's about to change, then? We're gods, boy. Killing one another is on what? Although I always thought I was above it. I told you that you cannot leave this place. It seems I must enforce my rules myself. I'm sending you home. Now. No, you're going home, not me. Got you. <laughs> to have been brought this low. By my own ungrateful child. I would expect such treatment from my brothers, but from you... Oh, Enough great. of this. Blast. I... How... You... Go. Go, then. Go! Get out of here! Get out! I told you that I would, Father. And I'm going to. Goodbye. Wait. Wait, just... If you... If you find her... If you so... What? Wait, I don't think I owe you any favors here. Now answer me one question and I'll give it some thought. How's that? I know your question, boy. But ask it anyway. Persephone, my mother, why did she leave? I... Blood and darkness. There is no escape. I made it. Beyond the frozen overlook, await the first glimpse of the sun to your left, and onward through the cold. Sure hope this works, Nix. Who's there? Um, hello? Hello indeed. Pray, who might you be wandering all the way out here? You're trespassing on private property, you know. Speak up. Um, you must be... Persephone. My name is Zagreus, and I think I might be your son. What? How dare! Get out of here! Get out, or I shall make you! Out with you! No! So then you are her. I, I don't care if you hate me, but I'm not leaving until I get some answers. I never
never even knew you existed. Why did you leave me? You died. You... You died. Those burning feet, they... sputtered out when you were born. But... Now you're standing here before me. How? I died? I died? What, you mean permanently died? But I'm alive. Oh, God. You never even knew I existed either. Alive? Sagrius, he... even kept your name. You live? How can this be? You live? You live? Oh, the cruel fates! My son! Mother. In short, I beat him, finally, though he did everything he could to prevent our meeting here like this. But there's something he wanted me to tell you in the end. He said to tell you Cerberus is doing very well. Ah, uh, he told you that, did he? That's good. That's good. Though, tell me something, Zagreus. How is it that you found me? To have journeyed all this way, I scarce believe it. Zagreus? Uh, oh, it's... Guess I'm just a little tired, that's all. Not accustomed to the weather, as I think you call it. No. No, that isn't it. It's that... You cannot stay here. Really, you're... <laughs> kicking me out? Why? The fates are cruel, Zagreus. You're bound to that place, the same as your father, so they would... No, I can come back. I can come back. Now that i found you, he... Maybe he'll just let me come back. You tell him I demand it. And I demand he also tell me how come he, or for that matter, Nyx, never sent notice that you lived. Olympus is all rife with schemers. But I was so naive to think that they were different. I'll tell him. I'll tell him. I feel awful. I... I have to go. The stick shall take you then. Oh, Zagreus. Farewell, my son. Won't you come back to me? When you are able, please, come back. I shall be waiting here, however long it takes. <laughs> however long it takes. <gasps> Can't hold on 